Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be discussing the classification of discrete time signals. Okay. So, discrete time signals are classified based on their characteristics. There are several ways to classify them including deterministic and random signals, periodic and aperiodic signals, symmetric and antisymmetric signals, energy and power signals, causal and non-causal signals. Okay. So, for this lecture, we will be focusing on deterministic and random signals. Is it clear? So, basically, deterministic signals can be expressed mathematically. Okay. They have no uncertainty in terms of their magnitude and phase at any given time. We can predict the nature and amplitude of deterministic signals at any time. Okay. So, nature and amplitude of a deterministic signals can be predicted at any time because we have the mathematical expression for that type of signals, right? So, we can predict and a signal is said to be deterministic if there is no uncertainty of its magnitude and phase at any given instant of time. Let's look at a few examples of deterministic signals. So, we have unit step signal which is defined as u of n is equal to 1 for n greater than equal to 0 and 0 for n is smaller than 0. So, it is also one kind of deterministic signal because we can express this mathematically. Now next is what ramp signal. So R of n is equal to what n for n greater than equal to 0 and 0 for n smaller than 0. Right. Now we have sinusoidal signals also like x of n is equal to a sin omega naught plus theta where n lies between minus infinity to plus infinity or x of n is equal to a cos omega naught plus theta where n lies between minus infinity to plus infinity. Okay. So, these are what the examples of a deterministic signals. Now, let us move on to random signals. Fine. So, we will see now the random signals. So, random signals also known as non-deterministic signals cannot be represented by any mathematical equation. Okay. You have to consider these two points, right? Even though, you know what, there is uncertainty regarding their value at a specific time. The pattern of random signals is irregular and we cannot predict their nature and amplitude in advance. Right? So, uncertainty is present in non-deterministic signals. Right? So, a signal is said to be non-deterministic if there is uncertainty with respect to its value at some instant of time. And even though the pattern of random signal is quite irregular, we can't predict nature and amplitude of a random signal in advance because of this irregularity. I hope this much is clear to you. Fine. You know what? Thermal noise serves as a best or a perfect example of a random or non-deterministic signal. Due to the random variation of added noise, Determining the amplitude of such signals becomes quite challenging. Why? Because of this added noise. That's why we are saying like thermal noise is the best example of random or non-deterministic signal. The amplitude of such signal cannot be easily determined because of the random variation of added noise. Okay, so I hope these things are clear to you. Fine. So that's all for deterministic and non-deterministic signals. In the next lecture, 
we will discuss periodic and aperiodic signals if you have any questions please leave in leave them in the comment section don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching